Hey, welcome to Late to the Game. I'm Carl. I'm Chris Ham. This is Late to the Game. <laughs> you said that already? Yeah. <laughs> We're playing Sonic and Knuckles. Oh, I went. Oh, what? You were yeah. playing? <laughs> no, yeah. Did you I, think you were? Uh, yeah, for a second. <laughs> and then I realized that I was actually Sonic. I chose Sonic. Oh, uh, so. that's funny. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Now we're starting the game. Hey, welcome to Life to the King. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get hit by the um, oh, mm, I, I butter titsy flies. Butter titsy flies. That's actually their name Teetsy. inside the booklet. Teetsy. If you. If you look up Sonic and Knuckles, oh shit! No, old man, the football helmet. Those, yeah, and he's got mushrooms. I did. I don't like this. This. I don't like this. Yeah, it's it's a little work. It's but well, yeah, it just seems counterintuitive to what Sonic is all about. Not, like here, stop for a second and just hop up and down on this weird thing. Yeah, but it's, we've already we've already come to the establishment that you play Sonic differently. That's true. I do play Sonic differently than you. Oh my god, that was close. Whatever, dude. Not if you know what you're doing. Uh, my God, Sonic and fucking Carl. <laughs> what? I don't know. That was really good making fun of, though. You just <laughs> totally did. Well, why can't we talk? <laughs> that was really good making fun of that you did. <laughs> you should really start doing that as more. You're, as you're trying to be sarcastic about me not being able to make fun of you. <laughs> Oh shit, those guys are coming for me hard. They're coming hard at me. With their fluttery wings. <laughs> <laughs> Late to the game, we've gun done lost our mind. Gun done. <laughs> gun done. Gun done <laughs> lost our minds. <laughs> oh my god, I love Sonic so much. <laughs> Carl's playing, by the way. I don't know if we mentioned that. You could tell. But I by... think you could probably piece it together, you know. Unless you're dumb. Yeah. Or you're a new viewer and we love you. Thank you so much for checking out our, Chris our Ham, show. Yeah, Chris. Then you don't know the difference between our voices yet. And Chris Ham is not the Sonic player of the duo that we have going <laughs> no. here. No. No. I'm not a Soniker. Oh, man. I love this game so much. Mm -mm. Speaking of Sonic, I need to tell you about this. Um. There's a, a Twitter account. Mm -hmm. You need to look it up. It's called Bad Sonic Fan Art. Cool. <laughs> I oh my god, it's so funny. Like some of it you're just like every once in a while you're like, oh come on, that's clearly just like a kid and he likes Sonic and you know, he's just learning how to draw and stuff. But other stuff it's like it's bad. It's really bad. Like they're taking it seriously. Yeah. I remember drawing Sonic when I was a little bitty kid. Oh yeah? Yeah. I, I just, drew um well, you, oh, no, I'm not gonna worry about that shit. Okay. We've got progress to make. Were you gonna continue with your you drew Sonic thought before I interrupted you? Um no. I decided not to anymore. Oh I could have had fire. I could have had fire, but I fucking ruined it. This is, is this the one where you can go Super Saiyan? Uh, you can go Super Saiyan on all of them, dude. What? I, you can't in the first one, can you? Yeah, I believe and you can. Really? Yeah. No. Hey, what the fuck, dude? And you def, I'm pretty sure you can't in the second one, because that's the only one I ever owned, and I never did that. Come I on. think it's Sonic 3 that introduced that, and then you could do it also in Sonic and Knuckles. No, 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 no. If you get all the Chaos Emeralds in the first one, you get to play as Super Saiyan Sonic. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, give me that. Yeah. Uh, I did not realize. And then he like, even though he's not leaning up against any, <clears throat> anything, he like puts his leg over to the side on the toe. Oh, yeah. What a douchey looking <laughs> pose. And then he like waves his finger at you like, I'm number one, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, the, the thought of like Sonic cussing at you just doesn't seem right. Hey, what's up, Knuckles? What you doing? Whoa, what are you doing? No, what are you, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, what are you? Oh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> now the mushrooms are blue. What have you done? Knuckles really messes with you in this game. Oh, I love the levels later. Oh, man, they're so much fun. The little rooster that blows air at you. What does that drop? I don't uh, remember that. You can breathe underwater, and you get to, like, bounce higher. With the little boom. Oh, okay. Cool. That's the noise it makes, too, by the way. Yeah, it's been a gosh darn long time. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember. It's been a very long time since I've even seen Sonic and Knuckles. 
because I rented it back in the day. Oh, I was gonna say, you said you used to draw Sonic um, when you were a kid. I used to draw uh, Kirby. Ah, oh, good deal. Drew Kirby, he's really easy to draw. Like, I'm not an artist in any way. Carl's actually pretty decent. I like, used to be. I haven't drawn anything in a long time. Yeah, you haven't. You used to be a pretty decent cartoonist. Um, I was the cartoonist on our newspaper. Oh yeah, that's right. It was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun drawing cartoons for that. Yeah. It was really funny too how that came to be because I was in my journalism class. When I was a freshman, I was in a, a journalism class. And uh, whenever I came back here, it, that class didn't really carry over to Azel anyway is what I meant to say. When uh, I came back you know, to Azel. You don't got to tell them where we're from. Oh. That's, uh, that's all right. Um, anyway... Uh, I was sitting in class and Jessica Alexander was like right in front of me and I sat behind her and um, when I was and you were like that ass no what <laughs> <laughs> anyway whenever we were in class I would like draw doodles and stuff and uh, Mr. Marchand was our teacher and he came up to me like during class one day and he like pointed down at my doodles and he's like, I need to talk to you after class. And I was like, oh no, I'm in trouble, man, what did I do? It was these drawings and he's like, after class I went back and he's like, hey man, I really want you to join our newspaper staff. And I was like, really? And he's like, yeah, I want you to be our cartoonist. And I was like, fuck yeah, I'm in. <laughs> that's, oh. that's pretty cool, I, didn't, I never knew that. Yeah, no. Oh. I almost did good. Almost did good. Guess your best wasn't quite quite good enough. So does that act as a shield to your bubble? Uh, yeah, like if I get hit, I don't lose rings. I just lose the bubble. Bubble. The bubble. All right, give me five of your favorite words. Five of my favorite words? Yeah, Chris Ham. I want to hear them shits. Oh, jeez. Uh, obtuse? I don't obtuse. Yeah, I, I really like the word obtuse. I don't know why. I think it's a. I think it. It's fun to say. I like its multiple what? kind of meanings. Cause like something can be like obtuse, as in like uh, you hate that, don't you? I do. The speed shoes. Um. Uh, anyway, see. obtuse. Okay. Uh, cumbersome. Cumbersome. Okay. Um. Hmm. Jesus, dude, I don't know. You, you threw you threw a curveball at me. I didn't think you were going to be asking me, you know, our fucking top five of anything on this particular episode. Oh, fuck. I hate these ones so hard. <laughs> Timid. Timid? It's, okay. a, it's just a good word. Okay, there's, th there's three. You've got more words in your vocabulary, I know, because um, I've heard you say them. What is the point of this? You gotta get all those. Oh, oh okay. this is how you get the chaos rings and or the chaos emeralds in this. Oh, what was that last thing you were doing? Uh, that's just for fun. That's just like a get some rings, get some lives, do what you gotta do, motherfucker. But I'm about tired of this, so later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just like fuck the chaos, I don't give a shit. Okay, so that's three words that you've given me. God chaos damn. Okay. Um. Shit, man, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't think about my favorite words a whole lot. Obtuse and cumbersome, definitely. Like I like lit, like put that that <laughs> that is was a previous you know thought that I've had yeah. that I enjoy those words. Um, what? Okay. No. What are you doing? <laughs> Did you see that? It was like nope. I don't want to go that way. Jack and ape. I think that is a funny Ooh. thing to call people. Yeah. You jack and ape. Jack and Ape. I'm not sure where that came from. I should look up the etymology of that. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I don't want to do those. those. I don't give a fuck. Those suck. I hate the fucking special sages in this game. Fuck. I like what they fuck. Do. Fuck is one of your favorites? Yeah. Yeah, I say fuck a lot. I do too, but it's like, it's a great word because it's it's all of the okay, this is categories about, of word. What? This is about to spawn an argument with me uh -uh. that I've had with life. You're okay, I'm almost... with yourself? No. Uh -oh. Well, kind of, but like just it, with... Uh, this is my argument towards like the mentality of everyone on the planet. How in the fuck is fuck a bad word or any of the bad words, really? They're just words. 
They're they're just words. How do they have the connotation that they do? Um, I mean, for real. A lot of people feel that way. Yeah, I mean, they're just words, bro. They are, but you have to take them into consideration of their historical meaning. Like, Give they're, me the they're, historical meaning of the word fuck, then. I, I honestly am not sure if anybody actually knows the 100% factual historical... Then how did it like become... etymology okay. of the word fuck. This is my argument then. Because I've heard a lot of conflicting stories. If we don't really know where the word fuck comes from, why... The only reason that it's a bad word is because our perception of it is bad. Right, but that's the only reason anything is anything is because of our perception of it. The only reason money gets us food is because we hold collectively that money is valuable. Right. So, so the only reason the fuck is a bad word is because everybody agrees that fuck is a bad word. Well, why can't we disagree and be happy about life and well, say fuck constantly? Because we can. Because people do all the time. Well, I understand Like, there's that, no shortage of YouTube video. You can go right now and just see people saying fuck on YouTube for no reason. They're just yeah, going, fuck, 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 fuck. But, but oh, on the radio, you spiders. can't. And on certain television shows, you can't. It's got to be like HBO for them to actually say the F word. Okay. Well, fair enough. You know. That Then... That is, but that is a choice that those people have, you know, collectively made. That they're, they're like, you know, we don't want to say this because some people don't enjoy it, and we don't want to cut those people out of our viewership. Okay, here's a question: Do you think that just like it, just uh, sorry, sorry to cut no, you no, off, no, no, but no, no, just no. like HBO says, we don't want to, you know, we want to be able to say these things and do these things and show titties and fucking dudes fucking each other and whatever. <laughs> Which they do. Which they do. Like crazy. Yeah. Um, and they say, you know, if you don't want to watch it, you know, that's your problem. We don't, we're not going to censor ourselves. And, that, you know, it works out fine for them and they're a fucking premium channel, you know what I mean? So. Right. Well, so, I, don't I know, mean. What was the point you were going to make? Uh, my, my point is this. Like, I, my... My, the owner of the company that I work for does not like beards. He does not like long hair on males. It's perfectly fine for a female to have long hair yeah, and beards, that's... but not me. And I think that that's stupid, and I cannot wait for the older generation of people that feel like, you know, it, you're a hippie if you have long hair. or if, right. if, Don't get me wrong, I'm totally kind of a hippie person, but... I mean, I am, but it doesn't but, mean you got to call me that. Right. Or, like, discriminate against me because the, I, I prefer to have my hair long. You know, honestly, I'm growing my hair out for locks of love. Yeah, I know. You you said you talked about that in the metal metal slug, right? Yeah, so. and I just don't understand like what the big deal is. If I worked in hazmat still, I could see it because if my hair got caught in machinery, it could kill me. But <laughs> yeah, I clean pools. Who gives a fuck if I have long hair? You know what I mean? That's yeah. like I just you don't... clean pools and do audio engineering. Like yeah. it doesn't. It, it makes no difference. Yeah, and I just don't understand and. F the the owner of my company. I was about to say his name. Yeah, the, don't the, do that. Yeah, the owner. You've already sold out, Mr. Marshawn to Jessica Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Facebook search. <laughs> anyway, um, you know the the owner of the company. Is Monkey like, Mars. I just don't get that, dude. Like the I, older generation. Yeah, they've it, got different morals and ethics, and I understand that. But come on, dude. Times <clears> change. <throat> people change. Maybe not for the better, but, like, my long hair certainly doesn't make me any less of a good worker. Yeah. No, I totally... I agree with you, and there's something to be said about professionalism and the definition of profession. Oh, nice, dude. Oh, my God. Tearing it up. Oh, shit. Whoa! Hey, you know what? We'll continue this conversation on the next episode of Late to the Game. <laughs> that was a really cool way to say Late to the Game. <laughs> Ooh, no! Oh my oh, god! god. <laughs> I don't know how I just did that. <laughs> <laughs>